Welcome back, all of you guys, to the next part of a Learn English with Jose. And um, let's do the exercise number three. Uh, number two. Read the text, then choose the best summary. So we have read. I also have read the three summaries. So let's choose. Let's choose. Is it number one? Is it number two? Or is it number three? The best one. It is. I think it is number three. Neil Harbison used to paint in black and white, but now paints in color. He is colorblind and wears a special device that makes the sound corresponding to the color he is looking at. Yes, that is the three. Because the task describes about uh first tells that uh he was colorblind. Since he was born, since he was born, but uh, since he 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 had he had worn a device on his head and invented by uh, Adam 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 Montandon, so it is called the eyeball, and now he can analyze the color. It can be analyzed the color, so that helps helps uh, Neo to. Uh, to see the color, to helps helps Neo to uh know what color is it. Okay, when he looks at something and point the cameras to somewhere, and it makes a sound. And it is he also wear a device in the backpack. It is a laptop. Okay, so it is C. For the best summary, number three. The best summary, it is number three. Okay, so let's do the exercise number three. Exercise number three, tell us to read the text again. Match the headings from 1 to 7 with the paragraphs from A to F. There's one heading that you do not need. So we have to read carefully, carefully the heading. So, and we will underline which is the most important idea that can be matched with one of these headings. Remember, that is one you do not need, so be careful. First one, it is a lucky, a lucky meeting. A lucky meeting. Okay, so first one, we have to underline the most important idea in the paragraph. The first paragraph. Uh, let's take a pen and underline that is what life like for Neil Harbison. Okay, so it tell us that uh, Neil Harbison was colorblind since he was young, and uh, but Neil was an artist, and incredible thing is he paints in color. So he 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 is colorblind, but he is an artist. Colorblind means you cannot see. You cannot see what color is it. But he is a painter. He is now an artist. So, what is the most suitable uh, heading will be matched with paragraph number letter A. Is it a lucky meeting? No, he didn't meet anything. He he didn't meet who? He didn't meet who? In this paragraph, yet a more complex device. This this paragraph hasn't mentioned any device. The device is too noisy. No, how Neil's life has been changed. He just begin the life. Colorblind since birth. Colorblind since birth uh, means he when he was born, he was colorblind. When he was born, he started. He was colorblind since he was born. So five will go with paragraph A. So five will go with paragraph A. Five A. Okay, good. So let's go to the paragraph B. So this paragraph, we must to underline. We must underline from but one day from the line number four. To, but one day, a young scientist called Adam Montandon visited the college to give a lecture. The two met. 
The two met when Neo explained his problem. Adam decided to try a new, to find a new way to allow Neo to see the colors using the sound. So underline that part, and we'll find it is uh, it 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 described that um they have met means they here means Neo and Adam. Adam is a Adam is a young scientist. While he was going to his to um, Neo school to give a lecture, that the two meet each the two met each other. Then Neo described his problem to Adam, and Adam decided to find a new way to find a way that helps Ad that helps Neo to see the colors by using a device by making a device. So let's find the best heading. One a lucky a lucky meeting. Yes. A lucky meeting because it talks about the two people met, Neo and Adam. A lucky meeting. So A B. Okay, so we'll go to next paragraph. In the paragraph C, please only underline. This is how it worked. This is how it worked. Yes, the line number three. So let's read. Is it the heading number two, a more complex device? No, it hasn't. It hasn't made a complex. Complex here is, it means uncomfortable, uncomfortable. It, it isn't, it didn't talk about how uncomfortable is it. So we will not choose that. The device is too noisy. No. Some unexpected problems know how the device works. It is seven. The ma the heading number seven will be will be matched with the paragraph C. How the device worked. Okay, so let's go to the next heading. Next paragraph. It is the paragraph D. Please underline ba 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 a bit. Uncomfortable, a bit uncomfortable. So, like I have explained, uncomfortable also has the same meaning as complex. So, complex, a more complex device. In this paragraph, is talked about. Uh, the last paragraph is talk about Adam has invented a device that can only um help. Neo to find to see the six colors, but now Adam has developed a much more sophisticated device that is called the eyeball, and Neo it, and it allows Neo to see three hundred and sixty different colors. What a number! Three hundred and sixty different colors. So it has helped. Uh, Neo to allow Neo to see a lot of colors in around him. So it is a complex device. But first, it is uncomfortable at first because it is very sophisticated. Sophisticated means it is very good. Yes, uncomfortable at first, but Neo got soon used it, used to it. Means he used it with a uh, better use it. <laughs> okay, so it is the paragraph D will go with the matching number two. It is a more complex device. D. Okay, so we'll be right back with the next part, the last part of a learn English. We'll say don't go anywhere.